My name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to take a look in, at AWS uh, Lambda cold start behavior, a Java Lambda cold start behavior. For this purpose, I would like to use my uh, template, this AWS Lambda CDK plain template, which uh, ships with uh, plain Lambda and a cloud development kit for Java and Maven. So let's use this. And uh, I just created, or just, I have a shell script which just clones the repository and opens uh, Visual Studio Code, and I would like to call the project code. And uh, now I have both, um, both Visual Studio Code instances, and maybe it's a good idea to do this. So why, why two? Because the this one, it just points to the CDK folder, Cloud Development Kit, which is used for deployment, and the other one just uh, um, cares about the Lambda itself. And this Lambda is just Pojo, no dependencies on Amazon. But what I did is in this template, uh, there are some dependencies included. You could use them. I will leave them here. So um, the uh, the package is going to be bigger and uh, should um, um, make the <laughs> cold start behavior even worse. So uh, let's see. So now let's uh, deploy the uh, Lambda function with CDK. And um, what? Uh, let's take a look at the configuration. And uh, this is hard hard coded, so we are going to ship with um, where is it? Uh, we have to make it bigger with 128 megabyte of RAM. So this is 128, and this is timeout timeout of 10 seconds. So this doesn't matter, but this is the smallest possible deployment. So this is the memory size is going to be 128. So okay, so let's go here, and what I would like to do is say build and deploy. And what this does, it just uh, creates a function.jar first and then deploys the function.jar. It runs a small uh, unit test to test whether the CloudFormation template is right. And now it deploys the function. So um, this is uh, the account. And if we just refresh it, you see there are no functions, but they should appear in a second. So yes, go with the changes and then see what happens. So now it will take a minute. What uh, what we could do actually, we could play a little bit, bit with the pricing. So there's AWS pricing calculator. So uh, what uh, we could do is to assume we are in Frankfurt and our function comes with 128 max. The uh, duration of time, let's assume it is like uh, two seconds called start time. In milliseconds, this would, is going to be 2,000. And now, um, and, oh, we don't uh, just, um, I don't like to use the um, free tier, just this is the worst possible choice, um, or more negative outcome, or it's going to be more expensive. And number of requests, um, we will calculate in a second. Duration in milliseconds is going to be, let's say, two seconds, and we have 128 max of RAM. And uh, so the amount, so what we can do, I could say, uh, let's assume we are going to be called once a second, 3,600 seconds uh, multiplied by 20, uh, 24 hours, multiplied by uh, 30 days, which are the amount of seconds in a month. So we could just take this and uh, show calculations and it will cal cost us um, $11 um, if uh, every second there is going to be a cold start, which takes two seconds. But um, yeah, uh, let's see whether the Lambda function is already deployed. And here it is. So uh, we have our Lambda function, so we can just go here. And this is going to be uh, the very first call. And I would like to call the uh, Lambda function with this event. This is just the hash map and invoke test. So it takes a little bit, and uh, this is the invocation, and it's said uh, in the duration, our, our build duration is 800 milliseconds, and we are using 90 megs of RAM, so um, less than anticipated. And as you can see, so we have uh, 800 milliseconds of, um, of, uh, build, of build duration, so this is what we are going to be built for. 
So uh, now let's do it again. So I would like to test it again and see how fast is the next call. And the next call is two milliseconds. So if Java is warmed up, so um, it is uh, build duration two milliseconds. So we have the first call start was uh, um, around one second and the subsequent calls are two milliseconds. So this is plain Java Coretto 11 without any Graal VM optimization. So we can take a look at the logs. So we should see in the CloudWatch all the traces. So let's take a look. And this is the uh, first call. So this is from uh, today. And um, we can see here, this. oh, this was the first one. It's like roughly 800 millisecond. And the subsequent one was one millisecond. So, um, so what it will mean is, so actually our calculation uh, was, or our estimate was not that accurate. So actually the call start was 800 millisecond. So the Lambda will cost us $4 when every call is a call start, right? Which doesn't happen. And, um, and if we just go, you know, to the regular invocation, so with plain Java, one transaction per second, we will pay, pay uh, half a dollar uh, per month. So actually, Java is pretty good as a AWS Lambda. And um, thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences or AHEX Live workshops. Thank you and bye.